Hello everyone, in this video let us talk about uh, creating a view in uh, Drupal. In the previous video we talked about how to create uh, a block in uh, Drupal and block is nothing but uh, a small rectangular portion or a section that will uh, display something on your Drupal website and we talked about uh, this uh, particular block can uh, display a static information or it can display some uh, dynamic content. So let us create a view today and uh, let us display some uh, information in that particular uh, view that will uh, keep on changing. So if you look at this website, if you have been following this uh, tutorial, you can also do the same thing along with me. So view is nothing but uh, uh, some kind of a filter that you will uh, create and define and that will let you create either a block or it will let you create either a page or a block. So you can basically have a page or a block and few other type of uh, things using uh, a view. So in this video, let us create uh, a block and that particular block will display nothing but uh, the list of uh, recent pages or recent content that you have been publishing on your Drupal website. So if you look at this particular uh, site, we have uh, two pages. We have one page which is called as uh, this welcome to our site and we also have one more page called about us which is linked in the in the main navigation so i want to to display a block maybe maybe on the left hand side or maybe on the right hand side will uh, decide the position later but i just want to display a list of recent pages maybe the top five or the recent five or ten pages so to create a view to create a block view you need to go to the structure on top and then you can uh, go to the a uh, very last option that you have and that is called as views. So if you click on it, you will uh, be presented with the list of uh, views that you already have in your uh, Drupal site. And when you install Drupal for the very first time, it, it comes with uh, some views out of the box for you. But let us create our, our very own block view. So click on the button called add view and if you click on this button, you can uh, see that we have to now provide some information. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to give our view a name. So let us uh, give this view a name like uh, recent content. And uh, when you create a, create a view in uh, Drupal, you also have the option to basically add different type of displays. So view is basically like a big container and within that big container you can have different type of uh, displays. For example, maybe you want to have uh, a separate page for displaying recent content or maybe you want to have this uh, list of recent content uh, displayed in a block. So let us uh, create a block for this example and when you click on the, when you basically check the, the, the checkbox create a block, you can give your block a title. The title is uh, borrowed from the main uh, view name called recent content. And then you have to do some uh, configurations. Basically, you want to select the display format. So your display fa format can be unformatted list. It can be a table. It can be an HTML list. So let us select HTML list. And in that particular HTML list, I, I will probably have some uh, list items with maybe bullets or numbers and then I want to display simply the title of my content. So along with the title I just I also want to have those titles linked to the actual content so people can actually click on those links those list of different recent content on our website and then you can select and type in the number of items you want to display in your blog. For the time being just leave your pager as unchecked. So pager is basically that numbering that you see uh, on maybe a typical page where you have a lot of pages or maybe a lot of content and then you have those numbers like one, two, three, four and so on. And those numbers will 
take you to the next set of uh, uh, information or list. So for the time being, just uh, leave it unchecked and click on save and edit. So let us see what happens now. So if you click on the save and edit, you will be taken to the configuration of your block view. So the first thing that you will notice is that uh, you have one uh, block added called uh, block. The name of the block is nothing but block, but we can rename it. We can, uh, if you click on the, uh, the, the link that says block, maybe you want to rename it to something like uh, recent content block. This looks a bit more uh, relevant and uh, to be honest uh, you don't need to do more changes here one thing you can do is you can scroll down and you can uh, do a preview so right now this is how your block will look like it will have this title called recent content then it will have uh, two items one is about us and the other one is welcome to our site now as you add more content on the on the site maybe you have 10 pages or maybe you have 20 pages on your Drupal website this list will of course keep on updating itself but it will only display five items because if you remember we selected only five items to be displayed in this particular block view and uh, to change that you can go to this uh, pager section and here you, you can see this option called five items if you click on it you can modify it to something else maybe 10 if you want but i just wanted to show you how it how it works now we also want to control how this list will be displayed for example do you want to display the most recently added content on top uh, most likely yes so in that case you can go to the sort criteria and you can see here that it says content authored on descending so it is basically saying that display the most recent item on top because we are doing some kind of an order by in case you are familiar with how queries work in uh, your sql for example so this is something similar to your order by but someone who is uh, not really familiar with how the the sorting works you can simply choose or you can think of uh, this particular sorting criteria in a way that the the, the descending means that most recent uh, most recent content will be displayed on the very top and you can change it to ascending in that case the the oldest content will be displayed on top but i think it makes more sense if you display it in descending order the most recent one or the one which has uh, the the nearest or the most uh, near date from today and uh, one thing which i also want to tell you is that there is a concept of filter in our view we want to display only those items here that are actually published on the website you may have content on the website which is just saved but not published so in that case you don't really want to include those pages or content so that is why we already have this filter criteria and we have this one we have this filter called content published is equal to yes so this means that it will not include anything which is not published and to be honest we can do a lot of other things with block and with the view but for the time being let us save this particular uh, view and uh, let us add this view not a view but yeah it is a view but uh, a block view on our uh, drupal website so for adding that particular uh, for, for adding this particular view uh, on our home page or maybe everywhere on the website you can go to the structure and this is something similar to your normal block so whenever you create a new view of type block it is actually added in the block section so if you go to the block layout maybe you want to display something in the first or the left sidebar which is nothing but uh, your sidebar first and if you click on the place block button here you will be presented with a list of all the blocks that you have on your uh, website uh, on your Drupal website but uh, the one which is uh, interesting or the one that we want to add is something called as recent content and recent content block so this is something that uh, we just added so simply click on uh, place block button uh, right next to it and then you will have your usual settings like do you want to display this particular block uh, uh, maybe on uh, all the pages or maybe you just want to display it 
on a specific type of content. You also have some additional settings like uh, how many items you want to display. If you remember, there is a pager and uh, that pager actually defines that we also, that we just want to display five items. But when you're adding it as a block, you can override it. You can actually select maybe 10 or 20. So this is something that you can do with a block view. But uh, let us quickly add this on our, uh, on our on our site and click on the save block so when you click on the save block this will be added here in the sidebar first but you also need to click on the save blocks button to finally save it and if you go back to the home page let us see so we now have this list of uh, recent content let us add something to the to the website so let us add a new content and uh, maybe i just want to add a basic page and let us see if this particular uh, page is listed. So let us add something like, uh, this is how you create a view. So I'm just adding some, some page and I'll not bother about writing some body. So I'll just quickly save it. And uh, if you go, if you notice already, there is this uh, link on top that says, this is how you create a view. Let us modify this uh, view further and uh, I may want to display something like uh, maybe bullet points. So let us see if we can do that. So if you go to the settings, uh, you have something like uh, something called as ordered list. So I believe you can uh, select ordered list here. Let us see if we are able to see some numbers. So we are able to see numbers, uh, which is good. But uh, for the ordered list, uh, you usually see those uh, bullet points and I believe uh, those can be enabled or those can be configured using your CSS. So I'm sure there is a CSS here that, that is actually stopping or not really displaying those bullets like uh, like this. And uh, But that is something that you can always control later on. But uh, in this video, I just wanted to show you quickly how to create uh, a block view and uh, View is a very important concept in uh, Drupal when you're trying to build a website using site building. View is something that is not only powerful, but you can do a lot of interesting things with uh, with your uh, view. You can, of course, create a block. You can also create uh, a page and uh, you can actually create a really powerful website displaying a lot of interesting things happening on your site. Uh, maybe you just want to create a view displaying a subset of all the pages or maybe you want to display, let us say, um, all the recently or most commented article, something like that. So there are a lot of things that you can do when you're trying to build a website with uh, Drupal and view is a very powerful and Im important concept. And we'll come back to the concept of view uh, multiple times throughout uh, this uh, video series. So I hope this uh, video was uh, was useful and uh, thank you very much.